Thank you for joining us today. My name is Darian. I work at Green Acres Nursery and Supply, and today we're gonna to be turning a pumpkin into a non-prickly cactus to decorate your home for fall. Um, the first thing you're gonna to need to go do is head out to the pumpkin patch and pick out your perfect pumpkin. I typically like the uh, more cylindrical looking ones for this project, but you can really pick any pumpkin that speaks to you. Uh, so from Green Acres, we're gonna to need to get a pumpkin, a big pot to put it in, a small pot to help hold the pumpkin up, and then some moss to put around. From the craft store, we are going to need, of course, paint, uh, typically a green, white, and another darker green for the colors, some nice flowers to put around, paint brushes. Uh, I typically like having one flat and one fine point, and then a glue stick or glue gun and sealer. The first thing you want to do after picking out your pumpkin is to clean it off because they can be really dirty um, from just being out in the patch and you want to get your paint to stick as best as you can. So you don't want it sticking to the dirt to the actual pumpkin itself. Um, so I go ahead and clean it off and then the next part we do is I add the sealer first because it'll provide a nice base for the paint and uh, provide a seal from uh, getting more damage on the pumpkin. Um, so after we've painted with the sealer, we're gonna just paint the entire pumpkin with our first light green color um, until it looks like this. So once we've primed our pumpkin and painted it green, it normally takes me uh, about a day just to do this process between just letting the layers dry and making sure I've got a good coat. Um, the next step for day two you would do is you would get your dark green paint and start painting stripes along the natural indents of the pumpkin. I find is kind of the easiest way to go about it. So I just follow these natural grooves um, along the pumpkin till I make it all the way around. Make sure you definitely really emphasize painting the bottom um, right here. I had a little wet paint so it stuck, um, but because the bottom of your pumpkin is actually going to be the top of your cactus. Uh, I typically just follow these natural lines and go along the grooves with my flat brush. You don't have to go all the way to the top because we're going to be covering the base of the pumpkin or technically the top of the pumpkin is our base. A uh, tip for when you're painting, wet your brush first um, and always have a keep, keep a cup of water on hand just to keep making sure your paintbrush is still in the shape that you want it to keep your lines clean. The next part we're going to do is going to be adding spines, you know, the prickly things that nobody likes, but that is why this is my favorite cactus because he does not poke me for sure. Um, Typically, I use white. You can use yellow as well. I've definitely seen cactus with both yellow and white spines. For this part, I use the uh, fine point brush and I just do upward strokes all along the cactus. Um, sometimes I'll alternate the direction as well just to give it some different dimension, different uh, places to draw the eye. 
the other thing I like to do is I don't like going necessarily on putting spines on every single dark green line that I've made. I skip one um, because that's more similar to the natural uh, indentations and structure of a cactus, um, but it'll also save you some time. Once you're done making the spines, you're going to go ahead and use the sealer again, just to make sure all your work is protected and not going to rub off on you. So after we've painted our spines and sealed our work, we're going to put the pumpkin upside down into our pots. The easiest way I found to get the pot to stay upright in our container is to have one big pot um, that's going to be our base and a smaller pot inside that'll actually cup and hold the pumpkin itself. So we just put that one inside just like so. And then we go ahead and tip that guy. So starting to have the makes of a cactus here. You may have to adjust him or the pots um, uh, to get it to fit and be the right height you want. Um, at this point, it's really ideal to start placing your flowers. It's up where it's gonna be and you can really see where you want to place them. I'll typically grab chrysanthemum or daisy flowers from the craft store. Um, these are chrysanthemums, um, we have them too, but I would definitely do probably the silk flowers or fake flowers, they're gonna last a little longer for you. So what I do here is I just pick one off. If they have a little nub, I'll just cut that off and use my handy dandy glue gun to glue them around in a ring, uh, just like a cactus would. The last step you're really gonna need uh, for the finishing touch is like a bag of moss. Here I use this nice gray moss and you just put that around um, to finish off the pot, make it look like it's growing right out of there. So this is our finished product. Uh, nice little cactus that will definitely go through the holidays for you. Um, no need to water. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy fall. Answer the question on the screen in the comments below for your chance to win a $25 gift card to Green Acres Nursery and Supply. Four winners will be chosen during our virtual fall festival that's going on from September 21st through 27th, 2020. Be sure to check the comments on Sunday, September 27th to see if you won. Happy fall!